the, the flowers and the springtime and we're coming into the equinoxes here soon. So really start to connect with your spiritual side, not only your spiritual side, but your, your light, your internal light that radiates outwards as well. And in this light, you find that childlike wonder, that beautiful childlike wonder that takes you back to the magic of fairies. So listen to your messages at the moment because there are messages all around. Mm. So I'll be on for a little bit if anyone would like a card pull. Please let me know. And we will get into hang on. Autumn Equinox, just talking about equinoxes. Look at that. Release. So it's also time to release. Release and surrender. Really get grounded at the moment. Go and connect with the forest if you can. But anywhere that involves Mother Earth is a great place to start with your grounding. Once you start to ground and once you start to do the work, you can start to release. As the autumn leaves start to fall, you get to drop off all of your excess baggage as well. So use this time to rest, renew and release. Do we have any request for me today? I won't be on here long, so get in while you can. Oh, in the case. Yes. In What are you bringing to the surface at the moment? What are you trying to plan and make happen? What are your intention settings at the moment? Are you ready to bring it to fruition, to bring that full circle around to completion, to invite that magic into your life? Because only you can do that. Invocation. What are you trying to bring up to the surface? What are you trying to put out into the universe at the moment? Now is that perfect time to do so. If you're a beautiful light worker and a healer, now is the time to put your creations into coexistence with the universe as well. When we put our words out there, that invocation, we are setting that spell, the spell casting. So be careful what you're saying with your words and how you are going about it as well. But if you're putting loving intent into it, sorry about that bright light, guys. If you are putting loving intent into it, then all your dreams shall come true. You just have to believe it and make it happen. Because if you're just going to sit around and wait for it to happen, 
it's not going to happen for you. You have to do the work. So, so far we have had connecting with your beautiful inner child and finding that childlike wonder within you from your light, from the universe, from the fairies, from our messengers, getting grounded and connected with the earth to time to release, release all that heaviness, let it fall to the earth where Mother Earth will take it and cleanse it and she will transmute it into something divine and magical. And with your word setting, your intention setting, you create these beautiful spell castings. You cre create your beautiful and own magical manifestations. So are you ready to create your beautiful magical life? You need to take that first step to do so. And mm, I love this card, Wolf. Trusting your instincts, your pure, beautiful instincts. The wolf, he has those keen senses, those keen senses that helps him hunt, that helps him either stay in the pack or be his lonesome, beautiful self or her lonesome, beautiful self. The wolf trusts the instincts of itself. And so must you. Your instincts come from deep within our bodies and our bodies know what is right, what is wrong, the answer to yes, to no. You just need to trust in your instincts and let go of the fear of whether it's your brain that's talking, your mind, or whether it is actually your gut instincts that is serving you correctly. Your gut instincts, your solar plexus, your sunlight, that is your powerhouse. That gut feeling that you get, that is this, that is your instincts. You trust your instincts. Trust your instincts and don't let anybody else persuade you in any other way. Your instincts are never wrong. That gut feeling that you have, that is never wrong. That is your yes or your no. Clear as day, your yes or your no. Coming back to the fairies and the childhood of innocence, we have childhood innocence. Remember that innocence that you had as a child. Remember that beautiful childlike wonder, that playfulness. Connect with your inner child. Do some inner child healing if you need. Because we need to bring back that beautiful, loving innocence that we had as children. And the only way that we can do this is to really internally know that our inner child is so safe and so loved and so nurtured. And you have to assure your inner child that she or he is safe and is loved. Protect your beautiful child innocence. If you haven't done anything today or recently to connect with your inner child in some way, do so. It is so important that we play, that we laugh, that we smile, that we connect with our inner body. Not only with our inner child, but with our, our sensual body as well. We are, after all, sacred sensual beings, aren't we not? Connect with your inner child and your innocence of that childhood that you once had. And if you never got a chance to have that innocence of, of an inner child or of your childhood, now is the time to do so. Now is the time to free your beautiful inner child and to let them know that they are loved, that they are safe, and that nothing at all can harm them. Nothing at all can harm them. They are so protected. You are protecting them every step of the way. I have crystals surrounding me everywhere at the moment. Crystals, focus. If you have crystals in your life, it is time to tune in to the messages that they hold. Our crystals hold so much messages and coding and remembrance. Hold on to a crystal deep within your heart, 
within your body, they are healing, they are energetic, they hold frequencies, they hold sounds. dragon's egg, that womb, the hara. Connect with your crystals, guys. What else have we got? Oh, I like this one too. I have a beautiful unicorn, selenite unicorn horn. Don't forget to connect with the magic of your inner child. They are also healing in so many ways. Fluorite. Fluorite is beautiful. Well, my poor fluorite's a little bit battered at the moment, but while we're here, let's do a little bit of some crystal magic. Speaking of crystals. I have magical, magical wand here as well. Let's get into a little bit of Can you hear the rain outside at the moment? We have had so much rain here recently. We've had like not even two weeks of sun and it's started raining again. So we've had fairies and earth magic, time to connect with your earth child, your earth innocence, that earth uh, wonder. We have so much of this earth that is unexplored and needs to be explored. Use your beautiful senses, use your beautiful magic that you have within you to connect with the earth. Listen to the messages that are around us and surround us every day of our lives. You're also reminded to release. Like the flowers that fall after they are done, they need to release. So release any heaviness that you are holding on to at the moment because you don't need it and it's not yours. You can let go of it at any single time. We are 
also reminded for ceremony. Bring a little bit of love and ceremony, earth ceremony, into your life. The invocation. What we say with our words, what we do with our thoughts. How we... Are you using candles to um, connect with fire? Are you connecting with the elements at all? This is all about sacred ceremony, coming back to the earth and ceremony and the earth and spirits. Connecting with that ceremony. Whether it be through music, through words, through dance, through whatever it is, through sound healing, doesn't matter what it is. But get some sacred ceremony in for yourself. Do you drink cacao? Make it a cacao ceremony for yourself. But somewhere in your life, we need to give gratitude. Gratitude to spirit, to source, whatever you believe in. And gratitude to our earth, our beautiful divine mother earth. We're also reminded to trust our beautiful instincts. Always believing in yourself and your gut instincts. That power of our sun, of our light, of our being, of our knowing, our truth, our honest truth. Our gut instincts, our senses, our instincts will always, always tell us the truth. Our mind can be foggy, but our, our, our senses know. Trust your senses. Don't live in fear that the mind is overriding. Trust in your divine instincts. We're also reminded to come back to our childhood innocence and that playfulness, that beautiful playfulness that we had as children. That beautiful childlike wonder that everything was magic. And even if you didn't have a magical childhood, now is your chance to bring back that innocence and that childhood to your being, to reassure your inner child that ah, he or she is so loved, so safe, so nurtured in every single way possible. And we're also reminded to connect with the crystals, our crystals. So much frequency, so much resonance, so much information and coding. Like the water in our bodies. Connect with the crystals. What else have I got close by? Okay. So let's see. I've got a nice chunk of raw amethyst here. Beautiful amethyst energy, healing and love. And then I have this gorgeous moonstone rock at the moment. And a lovely bit of Merkaba. Okay, 
can you travel within your dreams to the distant realms, to the underworld, to the upper world, to the spirit world, to meet your ancestors, to meet your spirit guides, to meet your loved ones. Go through with you, but you went through the black. So this is a piece of um, obsidian. And you're moving any negative energies. I think that'll do for this.